talk, we have Olive. If you haven't heard of it, it's a hardware uh, aware model optimization solution. We have Emma from Microsoft, who's going to talk more about it. Welcome to. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, this is. Hi, everyone. This is Emma. I'm a PM from Microsoft AI framework team, um, focusing on efficient model inference solutions. Um, today, I'm happy to be here to introduce Olive, a hardware-aware model optimization solution. In this presentation, my primary focus involves around three key questions. On why Olive, on what's in Olive, and how we can use Olive. Okay, let's start with why by understanding the underlying needs. Um, this is the current situation our Onyx community is familiar with. Um, there are multiple model frameworks for training models. Meanwhile, there are a wide range of hardware for model deployment. To make the model portable across platform, we can convert the model to Onyx format, then use Onyx runtime for model deployment across platform. Well, um, I want to ask, is there any missing part in current solution? Any ideas? So many people complain that they are converted Onyx model or even the original model used for model conversion is not efficient or not optimized. They need to apply many optimization techniques or tools to further optimize their model before deployment. And there are a lot of optimization tools developed by accelerator vendors. These toolkits enable developers to make most use of specific hardware target. However, this diversity poses another challenge for developers who wish to optimize the model across platform with minimal effort. So this is where only comes in. So Olive is so easy to use on two chains, specifically designed for model optimization with hardware awareness. It eliminates the need for developers to be experts in a different optimization tools. And it simplifies the complex optimization process, handling it on your behalf. All right, so we understand why we need Olive. Then let's take a look at what Olive offers. So as a hardware-aware model optimization solution, Olive composes a suite of powerful techniques in the model compression, optimization, and the combination. When provided with a model, whether it's in PyTorch or Onyx, along with your deployment requirements, such as the target hardware and the latency constraints, Olive employs intelligent algorithm to analyze and tune the most suitable optimization techniques according to your needs. As a result, you can get a comprehensive package which includes optimized models, the necessary runtime, and sample code to guide your deployment. So Olive revolutionized the way we optimize and deploy model into exceptional performance as well simplified optimization process. So you know about Onyx Runtime, right? So Olive works together with Onyx Runtime as end-to-end -end inference optimization solution for supporting Microsoft hybrid loop. So with Olive, developers gain the ability to obtain the most efficient models once the optimal model is derived, it can be deployed with Onyx runtime with its unified APIs across platform. So this powerful combination of Olive and Onyx runtime ensure the optimal performance across platform. So during the journey of model deployment, both Olive and Onyx runtime play crucial roles. As I mentioned, Olive prepares model to efficiently run with Onyx runtime. Furthermore, it serves as a unified optimization framework, allowing seamlessly to integrate various optimization tools. 
On the other hand, Onyx Runtime plays the role of unified runtime framework to integrate different hardware accelerators. So Olive's unified optimization framework complements with Onyx Runtime's unified runtime framework, enabling a comprehensive and efficient workflow from model optimization to execution. So here is the Olive architecture. As you can see, you can give Olive input model and some um, production um, deployment requirements. Then Olive employ different optimization techniques to output a deployment ready model package. Okay, then let's go to our last topic. How can we use Olive? So to utilize Olive for optimizing model is uh, straightforward. In just three, ste uh, three steps, you can unlock the power of Olive and get the most uh, perform uh, most uh, the best performance. So uh, first, developers install Olive and uh, some dependencies. Then they prepare the uh, configuration file, uh, specifying the deployment requirements. Once the uh, configuration file is ready, uh, developers can initiate the optimization process with a simple command line uh, shown here. So on the right is an example of Olive configuration file, um, which includes uh, your model information, the data set you want to use for evaluation, and the metric you care about during the evaluation, as well as some optimization techniques you want to apply for your model. Now let's take a look at a benchmark of using Olive and Onyx Runtime for optimizing a Whisper model. So as you can see, um, there is a remarkable re reduction in end-to-end -end latency by over two times, as well as a decrease in uh, model size by over two times. As I mentioned before, Olive offers unified framework for industry experts to plug in their optimization innovations. So NVIDIA and AMD has independently integrated their innovation into Olive. Um, so you can access Intel Neural Compressor Quantizer and AMD Vitas AI Quantizer in Olive with easy user experience. Any contribution from this community is warmly welcomed. Okay, so that's Olive. Uh, feel free to explore Olive GitHub repository and give it a try. A bunch of examples are available for you to dive in and experience firsthand. And don't be hesitant to contact us if you have any question. Thanks. Any questions? So you said this is hardware specific optimization, right? Yeah. But the Optimization still has to be implemented by either the user or the vendor, like Intel, Nvidia, or AMD, right? Yeah. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, his uh, question is about um, like uh, whether uh, the optimization in Olive uh, should be implemented by user itself, um, himself, or by the ha uh, hardware vendors, right? Yeah. Uh, the answer is yes. So Olive itself um, serves as an optimization framework uh, to um, allow like innovate, uh, optimization innovations to be plugged in easily. So that's why we would like to work with different accelerator vendors uh, to plug in their integrations into, uh, plug in their innovations into Olive so we can get a comprehensive ready to use optimization solution for our user. Uh, the second question is, uh, I know Microsoft also has optimization frameworks like uh, NI, which Microsoft NNI, uh, which uh, conducts a different kind of model optimization like quantization, pruning, things like that, usually at the training framework level. So how, so, so in terms of this, right, if I'm the user, how am I choosing between this Olive and, uh, and Microsoft NNI? Okay, thanks for the question. So uh, the question is about NI, another um, 
the tool chain developed by Microsoft. What's the different uh, difference between NI and Olive, right? So um, I would say there are at least two differences here. Uh, first, the NI is a research project uh, developed by MSR team, and Olive is a like production ready solution. So uh, that's the one difference. And the second is NI is mainly focusing on like some optimizations, uh, like in a PyTorch or in the original framework. And all they are working together with Onyx Runtime as the end-to-end -end optimization solution. So it's, um, and it also take hardware or well uh, point in mind. So uh, it, it aims to simplify the users to deploy the model across platform. So that's another difference. Do you have any questions on the uh, no, there are no questions on it. Thank you so Okay, much. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.